Yo, what is up, people? It is your boy Steve right here, and I hope you guys had a fantastic day once again today. Okay, so welcome back again for another episode of course on MK Don's FIFA 21 journey. Um, obviously, just let's have a, a quick recap, of course, on our last video, uh, which was yeah, is a disappointing end to the video. To be fair, also actually a, a not a bad video to be honest. Um, I mean, we beat Palace three two. That was the first game. A uh, bit lucky getting away with that in some ways. Uh, beat Villa 3 1, could have been 3 0. Um, out of all teams, out of all the games we played, we've got a clean sheet against Celtic 5 0. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, I'm happy with that, but compared to the other games, you expect to get clean sheets elsewhere than you do with probably that game. But yeah, I don't know, either way, um, great, massive result over Celtic, smashed them. Um, and then 2 2 with Brian, who sit 20th in the league. It's, that's what really put me on a down at the end of that video. I just couldn't believe it, to be honest. Uh, but it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know what else to say you know, anymore. I say it all the time, obviously. But we've just got to do what we can do, of course. So, with Arsenal next in the cup, uh, saying that, you know, yeah, it's not going to be easy again. Uh, but we're at home, so home advantage. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. And we've got Liverpool in the league. Uh, so, what, that's, uh, that's, yeah, four days away. Wow. Okay. So, I want to play sort of the strongest team against Arsenal, but a weak team against them, so I can rest against Liverpool. You know. These games are going to come thick and fast, literally, it's going to be very tight. But, um, but yeah, like I said, Arsenal, <coughs> then um, Liverpool at home, <coughs> then uh, Celtic on the away uh, fixture, so the return leg, if you want to call it that, in the Champions League, and then we've got Tottenham at home. So, wow, four massive games. So, this is going to be a big video, this is going to be like a yeah, just a big video. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but this is going to be mad. So, let's just do what we can. Simple as that. It's, there's not much else you can say on that. You just have to play the games, get it results, hopefully, and there you go. So, after at home, in the cut, can we get through to the next round? Let's find out. Oh, oh shit. It's my fault. <sighs> Mm, oh, it, it, it hurts to even say that. It actually genuinely does hurt. The reason why is because it's it's not a goal. It, it, it isn't the. Mm, I don't know. I'd like to explain it, but what else they say? I mean, I should have slid, but I thought it was going to turn even more. And Magicora, I just I feel keepers have got to do better from those positions. I really do. But I, there's not much I can do. One nil. There you go. Just got to come back in it if we can. Come on, Villalba. Yes! It's a simple hit. It's not even strong enough as well uh, from Villalba, but it's a goal. <laughs> simple as that. Do we deserve it? I don't know. We've been passing the ball about, alright? We're trying to work our way through the defence and we get through there nicely. So, on that note, yeah. So, go on. Great ball! Oh my! <laughs> I actually thought it was a goal. Great delivery from Tarek Lamptey on that right side. And it's a good header from God. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, it's actually... Oh, it's, it's came off Leno's head. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it's a lucky but great save at the same time. It's really that weren't great defending, but I had to get the ball, man. It's Arsenal tough. But this season, they're really tough. Obviously, they were towards the end of the season last year, but yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't know what else to say to it. Go on, Eddie, me. Oh, <sighs> Go on. Yes! Eddie, me puts us back in a 2 2. We just had a chance just before there. Um, and yes, I've just brought Eddie, me on. I thought, I've got, I've got to try something. I've got to bring some strong players on to. Hope to get something and you know, he comes on and gets the goal, second goal. You know, what we deserve to be honest. Um, at times Arsenal played well obviously. Um, yeah. Okay, here's penalty kicks. It is penalty kicks. Um, typical really, but it's a chance to get through still, obviously. So we'll see what we can do with that. Karim Adeyemi. It's a great penalty actually. <laughs> it's a very good penalty. Good start. Come on. In the same way, you bitch. Come well, yeah. bottom corner. Nice, good penalty. Come on. 
Yes, Mandragora, right way. Get in there, my son. Third time lucky, can I go down the same corner? Here goes Wolf. He does. Nicely. Get in there, come on. Yes, went the right way. I actually was going to go the other way as well. Okay. So you know what? Jones. <laughs> the youngster. He's put it in, but it's not a great penalty, to be fair. That's why I shot Leonard didn't really try as such. But we're through. We have knocked Arsenal out, but on penalties. It's quite a quick penalty shoot, to be fair. Uh, but we've done it. That's all that matters. And uh, Jones is the one that gets the goal. And blimey, can you hear that plane? Oh, that plane is really loud outside. But either way, here's 2-2 on the night. But obviously, uh, penalties one coming with the penalties. But anyways, we went on penalties, and that's all that matters. Okay, so <clears throat> we have Liverpool next. It ain't going to be an easy game, of course, um, as I would always say. Anyone would say um, in, in that matter. Liverpool, as far as I'm concerned, uh, they haven't lost yet. They haven't lost yet. Eight wins and two draws from ten matches so far. We've won six, drawn two, lost two. So, not exactly bad. We've scored the same amount of goals. I just conceded um, 11 more. So, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so a massive three points from Liverpool today would be brilliant, especially to beat them in the first team to beat them. We've done it last year, um, but if we can do this, it should be even more better. Um, but yeah, so Liverpool, I don't know. I mean, we're at home, another a strong thing there, I guess. I mean, that's one thing we've got to take the positive from, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Liverpool are going to be tough. Um, obviously, through from Arsenal in the uh, League Cups, that's all good as well, just to say. I'm really happy with that. But Liverpool in the league, it's not going to be an easy game. It's not going to be easy. Um, but yeah, so see what we can do. Let's hope we get three points here. Um, but yeah, I really hope we do. Let's think. Liverpool against us, they leave so much space open. Eddie Yemi, he does make a 1 0 from a tight angle. And we're taking the lead against the leaders. Um, and obviously the champions as well of England, as they were uh, in the last season. Adiemi of only 7th league goal of the season, um, still it's decent-ish I guess, but uh, this time last year Adiemi was thrashing all the goals, honestly. Um, but yeah, good finish from Adiemi, it's a good start, a 1-0 and I'll take that. Oh, look at that, I don't know what it is, Liverpool just leaves space open against me, they do. There you go, 2-0, good roll back from Doku to find Adiemi for 2-0. Honestly, it's looking like it could be like the game against uh, Liverpool that we had uh, in the Community Shield. So, you know, after thrashing 7-1, you know what I mean? I mean, talking about that, we thrashed them that score. They they couldn't do anything. They're not, well, they not what? Oh, God, that's scary. <laughs> One of my doors just slammed. Um, but they couldn't do anything against, you know, get against they're, they're unbeaten so far in the season. How mad is that? That's what I think is so crazy right now. Um, but, yeah, you know, we'll take it, of course, and 2-0. Uh, Oh, he scored that. That's really bad. Whether I've showed you, I don't know. But in the build-up to that, honestly, I should have lost the ball. I kid you not. I don't know what happened. My player just couldn't get back up quick enough. I, I wouldn't even say quick enough. He just wouldn't get back up normal. If I got back up normal, which should be what should be happening, I'd have the ball. They wouldn't probably have that chance. But I was defending still. Um, I don't see. I did nothing wrong there. It's another simple. Random near post goal that shouldn't be going in. I'd sleep it. I don't think it did. I did actually slide, but yeah, obviously automatically sometimes it does it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I, it shouldn't be two one. No, simple as that. Oh, mo move out of the way, Jesus! Wow. Hatcher from Adeyemi, but I, I've got to remember to put this in the video. What just happened there? Both my players collided, and then literally, I know it's not hmm, technically his computer's fault, but so it's definitely not my fault. What can I do about that? Jeez, what are they doing? I knew lost the ball there and lost that chance. Three one, guessing finally got the third goal. They deserve it all day long. Look at that. Way too easy. This is what we've been doing all day long. You know what I'm going to do. 4 1. I need that 4 goal. I'm not even joking. I literally, I've actually smashed the ball where we should be 6 7 1 up again. 
like the community shield. I swear down, honestly, I've never smashed a team so easily. They just pull the defense. Like Man City, yeah, whether Man City will do it again when we play them um, next, I don't know. Um, but they just open up. Their defense just seem to push up so quick and easy, and then your player just runs in behind. As long as you time the ball right, that's it. So uh, four one. Anyways. I had a feeling they score. I had a feeling. I was. <laughs> the eyes on the ball, I just. Just if you make one silly mistake in tackling, that's it. They get through. No matter who it's against, it could be the worst team in the, in the world. <laughs> you make that one mistake, that's it. So. Um, try catching up, but hey. Even though it's just literally P dribbling, it's just. It's not easy. By the time that you've got there, they've hit the ball. So. Alright, Martinelli here. 5-2. Good finish from Martinelli. He's been quite all game. Uh, well, he's had an assist in the game, but still technically been quite uh, quite quiet. Um, but yeah, it should be way more. I keep saying it, but it should be. Um, but 5-2. Good finish as well. Good run down the line. And there you go. It's definitely game over. Alright, for the second season running, we've ended Liverpool's unbeaten run. Um, I think this time it's a bit more earlier um, than it was last, last season. But four goals from Adeyemi. It means so much to me, this guy. This guy is just too unplayable. Obviously, I've got to give other players, you know, like Goddard, for example, a chance, so he's not going to play every game. But games like this, massive. He's a huge player. Massive player, seriously. Um, but yeah, brilliant stuff, though. 5 2. Fully deserved. Should be more goals, and I mean that. Um, but yeah, 5 2. And I'll take that, of course. Massive three points. Okay, so our successful victory over Liverpool. Obviously, the defending champions, as well as. Uh, they were unbeaten uh, for the start of the season, but now we've got them their first defeat of the season. Obviously, they won't like that. Um, but yeah, so awesome stuff. Adeyemi also grabs October Player of the Month award as well, just see. Uh, but with four goals there to start off this month, yeah, <laughs> could be on his way to another one. But so next, of course, we sit with nine points on the table. Um, you know, three points ahead of Atletico. Celtic only on one point from three games. They play us again in the second uh, leg, if you want to call it that. That's a reverse fixture. Um, but yeah, so yeah, they sit third, we sit top. Can we extend that? If we win this, it should guarantee us the next round of the Champions League. So yeah, that's all I can say on that. Let's see what we can do against Celtic and hope we get the win there. Alright. On the Celtic. 12 minutes gone, Celtic have been all over us admittedly, they've had all the ball, I've not even been in their half yet, literally not even been in their half, um, there's been a lot of changes to be fair, but nothing bad, no, honestly I'm serious as well, nothing bad, but that goal, I mean, it, it is, this is the biggest proof, it's written all over the game, they have to stop near post goals, it's just too many of them, yeah the odd one fine, but way too many of them, and that was so gentle and just weak, shouldn't be scoring it, simple as that, but 1-0. Oh, it's a good finish from Adiemi, but again, I don't know. Regardless, well, I didn't mean to change. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that completely that quickly. But regardless of whether he scored or not, or whether you're mostly on your left side, but shoot, you're right. I don't know why he didn't, but anyway, didn't mean to skip that animation there that quick, but. 1-1, one, one. we're back in here and we do deserve it. Yeah, we have been, it's been a while in the last few minutes, so even though they started off well, but yeah. So come on. That's it, I'm waiting for that run. Eddie Yimi, finally! It is 2-1 to the Dons. With 13 minutes left of the game, and Eddie Yimi gets that goal. Finally, we got that second goal. Uh, fully deserved it in the end. Uh, Celtic have been solid, honestly, they've been really solid. Um, they do probably do deserve something in the end, uh, but hopefully we can get all three points, um, and obviously that would be all that matters. So yeah, hopefully we can. So two one, and win the league for the first time. Two one, okay. It's not the best of victory in terms of the scoreline, but we rested a lot of players. Um, well, some players. Eddie me got a full ninety minutes, you know. So we had key players like that. We had to. I, I made it basically basically made a half and half team. So some players. That I fully deserved. I think it deserves to get a game out there uh, against someone like Celtic that I feel, felt confident to get a win. Um, just got it though, so could have backfired, but hey, 
2-1, that's all that matters, is a massive three points, it is our through to next round as far as I know. And there you go, so yeah, adding me both goals to save us uh, from losing, so yeah, awesome stuff, 2-1. Okay, so on to our last game. On this video we have uh, none other than Tottenham Hotspur, uh, so hopefully if a big win here we'll fill out a strong possible team that we can to hopefully get those big three points like we did against Liverpool, uh, getting those three points there. So um, yeah, this would be massive if we can do this. So. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's get the win hopefully, and uh, yeah, Tottenham, like I said, it is next. Gonzalez, yes! Great play, fantastic play, and Zoles, you know, not really been a great player uh, at the start of the season. Doku's had, you know, you could say more more better performances, Mike's crashed again, love it. Um, but either way, great finish though, good stuff from Adeyemi there, plays it in there. And then bam, um, but yeah, Zolis though, needs to pick up though, he does. That's it, Pavlovic, finally the second goal, 2-0 and it looks to be a nice comfortable clean sheet. When I say comfortable, obviously goal-wise, no, um, well, performance-wise even, I mean, it's been a while, so they've gave away the ball a lot to them as well in this game, I've got to be honest. Uh, but we've got a second goal finally right at the last minute. And uh, that should definitely be three points in the bag over Tottenham once again. Good run from Adeyemi, good little ball through as well. And there you go. It is that to finish off the game, hopefully 2-0. So, or one more goal maybe, who knows. But yeah, 2-0. Henderson, dangerous looking through ball. Ah, okay, 2-1. Okay, it's unfortunate. Literally the last chance of the game, Tottenham get a goal in the last minute. I'm so glad I scored that second goal, I really am. But 2-1, it's, it's actually quite annoying me actually, I know it's just a goal, but we should be winning that 100%. Um, I mean, you know what, clean sheet, having a clean sheet overall. Um, but yeah, it's what it is, there you go, we've got the victory though, it's all that matters, 2-1. Okay, so that'll be the end of that video there guys, hope you guys of course enjoyed it as always. Um, wasn't too bad, of course we've won all our games, which is obviously uh, the, the the bonus side, of course, what the main thing, you know, you've got a win, obviously. Um, so beat Celtic, obviously 2-1, uh, actually, well, we just recently beat Tottenham 2-1, beat Celtic 2-1, obviously coming from a goal down as well. Uh, beat Liverpool 5-2, you know, just impressive, you know, compared to uh, the community shield as well. And uh, and we also beat Arsenal 4-1, though, on penalties in the cup, so we're through to the next round of that, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so, successful video in that sense, uh, but we do have Southampton next uh, in our next league game, so... Hopefully three points there. Um, Benfica Champions League, then Man City at home. Yeah, be interested to see whether that'll be nine one or nine two, whatever it was last time. Um, and then we have Newcastle to follow that. So um, it hasn't. Oh yeah, we have. Oh okay, we've got Fulham uh, in the cup next. So that's all right then. So, um, but yeah. So like I said, tough game still to come as well. Uh, so we have to remember that. Um, but yeah. So other than that. Here's what it is. So successful video, all wins of course, all there. I'm um, actually just show you the table of course uh, as well. So we're actually third right now, 26 points on the table. <coughs> Two big results against Liverpool and Tottenham to be fair. Uh, Tottenham they sit ninth at the moment, their third defeat of the season that is, as they lose against us. Uh, so Chelsea and um, Liverpool that won the defeat, they've actually moved down the second. Uh, they did actually draw 3-3 in their last game with Southampton. <laughs> uh, um, coincidentally, uh, considering we're against them next as well, so uh, coincidentally, does that make sense? Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, so free free they drew with them. Um, but yeah, so points just need to be taken. Simple as that. But 26 points, eight wins, two draws, two defeats. Not too bad. Uh, we just need to continue uh, doing what we can. So hopefully we can push on and uh, climb that table even further. Um, but yeah, so until next time, stay safe as always. Uh, take care, of course. Like and subscribe. Much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.